founded by John Wesley from England. And what happened in 1796, it broke away from the, the form AME Zion Church. Well, because remember, that was slavery. And you couldn't take communion, you couldn't take anything. Yeah, so it broke away. A guy named Bishop, who saw it? Miller and Barrett. Hmm. Barrett named downtown the boat. Anyhow, over 137th Street, that's Mother Zion. That's the first co in connection. Their connection with their organized religion. So they, they, they petitioned the AME. Let us break away and try to do our little thing thing. And so yeah, I'm just yeah. using everyday yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that was it. That's, that's how we start the AME Zion. And, and they've been here since 1851, right? Oh, well, in New York. No, no, see, I'm sorry, 1951, right they came, here. They, what they merged in churches are falling on hard times. Yeah, yeah. Because other people do. So they have the merges in churches that together. So they, like, they've been in Harlem long, then Abyssinia and all of them. Wow. And they started a hell of a history. Awesome. 1796, they were. Because John Webb uh, founded AME, when AME's at. But we just finally got females, um, bishops. Oh, wow, that's great. Yeah, you know, the organized religion did. All about all that dress. Yes, I don't believe in all that dress. I believe in it. Because it wasn't for religion of belief, or not belief, religion of faith, we would never have survived slavery. Well, the first slave ship came in 1926. April the 1st, 1860. No, April the 12th, 1861, 4 30 in the morning. If I don't want something, and the Civil War was on, but it wasn't about freeing the slave, about uh, keeping the union together. And that's it from that day. Yeah. 300 years. 400. You sent us the slaves. We've been here 493 years. You served, sir? I see. Mm -hmm. I see you're wearing a. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm God bless my You serve? We got a phony up there now. A bone spur. His daddy had money. Got him bone out spurs, of the Bone spurs. Yeah, nothing wrong. We all went. <laughs> yeah, money. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, money. Died, yeah. Where we're from, uh, we're from Greece. Everybody goes to the army. Oh, yeah. Like everybody has to. Every male. I went volunteer. Yeah. Months. He he volunteered the special forces before it was his time. He went as a 16 year old. Oh, you been there, yo? You like me? I was in the National Guards and all that. Yeah. Camp drum. So when we sent the world, you know, the Mars, you know, 75 years. Uh, uh, tomorrow um, we're gonna go and see a soccer game, and they're gonna have a special. Um, a commemoration for, for D Day, yeah. And in fact, one of the um, one of the people who, in, in my Greek church down in Brooklyn, uh -huh. um, there's a picture of a Greek guy who was uh, one of the first to step foot on Normandy. Um, didn't make it out. Yes, it was a hell of a thing. But uh, but his his family uh, donated um, his medals uh -huh. to the church. Oh, that's good. So uh, people who go there now, it's uh, they, they can see that. Yeah, we came, we had this, our class, our West Point class, this, they had nine two, women? Two, no, 200 some women and 32 of us. Oh, yeah, I, I saw Jesus. that, I, I saw, saw that, I come saw that, that's amazing, long. I saw yeah, that. Yeah, uh, that's, when you get out of West Point, you got plenty of I grew up outside this country, right? Mm -hmm. This is the kind of stuff that makes this country look good to people abroad. Mm -hmm that make up for other Because yeah, I right. came through, I'm 80 years, I came through segregation, tail end of segregation and Jim Crow, Jim Crow laws. When our grandpa was fighting the Germans, when he came back, he came back to a country that gave him full rights. When they were fighting the Germans, yeah. the you're supposed you're to still... come back, no, no, and no. yeah, but that's why, that's and you had a bunch of guys who saw the Nazis and they're like, I'm not going to come back to what I used to be. Man, a lot of people, what happened? 369, they stayed in France. Remained in France. Like, I, I've heard that. I've heard that. A lot of black soldiers remained in France. I've heard that. Um, I, um, there's this, what's this movie about this um, African-American resident in France? I think there's a movie about that. 369. Is that the, uh, they're right here, the field of jewelry, they're right there on 43rd Street. Said, when they got to France, they got there and said, <laughs> they told them, we don't have a yeah. segregated military, yeah. everybody fight yeah. together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. WW1, WW1, when you got to France, they said, no, yeah. no, 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 we didn't fought on the French flag. Like, we had a segregated um, military until 
Truman, 1948, Truman struck on the pen. Said, no, no, no. Was it? I think it was either in south of France or somewhere in Italy, where there was a, a group of white, primarily Southern American guys, trapped by a bunch of German snipers, and they send out only African-American soldiers to rescue them, and they actually had more African-American soldiers dying rescuing those 100 white boys than... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, thank you, thank you for okay, talking to us. It was really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Joe Mack. Nice to meet you, sir. Okay, take care. 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 Take care.